Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing the Ula Enriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum, which looks like this. Before we begin today's video, I'd love to welcome all of those who have recently subscribed to my channel. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed lead esthetician and I love to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. We are reviewing the Ula Enriksen Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. This is an antioxidant based serum with 15% vitamin C, 5% PHAs, and hyaluronic acid. This is meant to brighten your skin, plump, and hydrate. It claims to reduce the appearance of dark spots, minimize the appearance of pores, and wrinkles. You can find Banana Bright Serum at ulaenriksen.com and sephora.com. Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum does retail for $65 and you do get one full ounce. We have a couple of pretty interesting ingredients here. The first of which is 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. This is the second ingredient within this formula and it is a, a very stable form of vitamin C that is soluble in both water and oil. This formula contains 15% of vitamin C and as we all know vitamin C is an antioxidant that stimulates collagen synthesis and also brightens the skin. We also have PHAs within this formula which chemically exfoliate the skin. PHAs molecular size however is much larger than alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy acids which make this serum suitable for skin that is yet to experience such a strong exfoliation or for someone who has yet to condition their skin for both vitamin C and a chemical exfoliation in one product. I personally love PHAs and reach for these whenever I need a chemical exfoliation but a very gentle exfoliation at the same time. This serum also contains hyaluronic acid which helps to retain water in the skin. Hyaluronic acid plumps and reinforces the skin's moisture barrier. Hyaluronic acid unfortunately uh, does deplete as we age. I have been using Ula's Banana Bright Serum for about three to four weeks. My first impressions included the fact that this smells just as the other products from Ula's Truth range. Upon application, I did not experience a tingle as I don't typically experience a tingle when I use PHAs. The glow I achieved during the initial application lasted throughout the entire day and it has every day that I um, apply the serum. With continued use, however, I noticed that my skin's texture was not as refined as it was with the previous product that I tested. Um, there are products similar to this within my collection and because I have conditioned my skin to tolerate high amounts of alpha hydroxy and beta hydroxy acids and retinols, I do have a preference for those but that is only because I have conditioned my skin for those products. However, if you have used a vitamin C serum and are ready to add a chemical exfoliant to your vitamin C serum, this would be a great product to try if you have you know, emptied that unit. Say for example, you're using um, the first truth serum and you're ready to take it to the next step. This would be your good second purchase. This is not a seasonal item for me. I think uh, since I have normal skin, this could be a product that I uh, reach for year round. And say for example, if you have normal combo or even oily skin, I think that this would be a great product for you to use year-round as well. Overall results, I have noticed brighter, more even toned skin and minimal breakouts. I literally just broke out once and it was like 
right here and it's because I touched my face. Again, very minimal change with my skin's texture. This plays very, very well with other products, other ranges. Um, this has paired very nicely with different SPFs treatment moisturizers and just other moisturizers as well. I unfortunately did not pair this with an oil throughout the testing period, but if I do before this video goes live, I will be sure to update you all in the bottom bar. My favorite way to use this is at night. And what I will do is I will cleanse, I will tone, I will apply one to two pumps of this on the face and neck, and then I will follow it with Peter Thomas Roth's Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. I am still loving this. I am still using this. And then to finish things off for the evening, I will go in with the Ula Enriksen Truth Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream. I love pairing these together. I will, this is how much I have used of this product here. During the day, I will just do this little guy plus Sea Rush and then my sunscreen. And if I'm feeling adventurous I will do this little guy this little guy and then my sunscreen it just depends on whether or not I used this uh, the night before the reason why I love pairing these three together is that this will address hyperpigmentation further because you have um, niacinamide tranexamic acid right yeah kojic acid, alpha arbutin, and you have pent pentapeptides. But this is not as moisturizing as I would like, so I add this little guy. That is how I enjoy using the serum. I do prefer using the serum at night for some reason. I don't know why. It's just my favorite kind of cocktail for the evening. I would recommend this to anyone with normal combo and oily skin who um, is ready to upgrade to an oil soluble form of vitamin C that also includes um, an acid or an exfoliating acid. The one or the acid that we have within this formula is a PHA which is much gentler than glycolic acid is. So the combination of a PHA or any other acid with vitamin C will help to drive that vitamin C deeper into the skin. So if you are concerned with dull skin, uneven tone texture, this would be a good serum for you to try. I would definitely not recommend the serum to anyone with sensitive skin as this does include some skin sensitizing ingredients such as linalool and citral and a few fruit extracts that can further impact your barrier. I do have a couple of pros to share with you all. Um, the fact that this is cruelty free is always amazing. Um, this does contain an oil and water soluble form of vitamin C, which is better than ascorbic acid, which is a water soluble form of vitamin C. This also gives lackluster skin a very healthy, luminous glow. And the packaging is nice, definitely nice. It's kind of like, like a smoked out plastic jar. You cannot see how much serum you have in there, but that is again to keep the performance of your product as good as you know the first day that you um, initially opened this product. Um, this also does not contain any drying alcohols which is excellent. My con with this serum is um, this does have six skin sensitizing ingredients that may disrupt the integrity of your barrier. So if you have sensitive skin, I'd definitely stay away or sample it if you're feeling adventurous. I am rating this product a seven and a half out of 10. I am deducting a point for the six sensitizing ingredients and I am also uh, deducting a point for the fragrance. It's not added fragrance, it's not like perfume, but I'm still deducting a point for that. I personally do, did not experience any sensitivity while using the serum. I can see sensitive skin not tolerating the serum quite well because of the fruit extracts and some of the linalool and the citral. Personally, I enjoyed the glow that this serum gave my skin and how it kept 
breakouts at bay. That is all I have for this review video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We also have PHAs within this formula which gently Excuse me. Sorry, I'm getting really sweaty.